So I want to share my story with you in hopes that it will help you get through an unknown time in your life when you're in the wait and you don't know what's next. Um, this time last year, through some follow-up tests after a simple infection, um, the doctors found a mass on my kidney. And two days later, we're finding out that it's more than likely cancer and that I have to get my kidney removed. And in that one moment, my whole world had turned upside down. Just a few short days later, in that same week, my dad, who has Alzheimer's, went missing for the second time. And I don't ever remember being so unsure of the future as I was during that time, in that moment. We thankfully found my dad safe, um, but then all the questions started flooding in, into my mind. You know, what does my future look like? I hadn't planned this. This is a, a curveball. Um, this wasn't part of my plan. You know, what is life gonna be like with one kidney? What kind of treatments am I gonna have to have? How are we gonna handle this on top of um, dealing with my father's failing health at the same time? How am I gonna tell my daughters? Challenging seasons, they're gonna come and you're gonna either grow from them or you won't. And I felt like God had led us to this and because of my faith, I knew he would lead us through it if he had led us to it. He had always sustained us at every point in our lives, and I believed he was gonna do the same for us right now. But man, did I have to dig deep into my faith and my trust. Um, my family wears bracelets now with the verse, Philippians 4.13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This has been always one of my favorite verses, but suddenly it just had a deeper meaning. And during the unknown, I tried my best not to ask why. Why was this happening to us, to me? But what, what am I supposed to do with this? How, how am I supposed to give God the glory for this? And I, I tried to flip my thinking and think maybe this has happened for me and not just to me. A friend once shared with me that beautiful things can happen in the unknown time when you're waiting or in adversity. You know, and during this, God had refined me um, and is refining me still. And during my unknown, I became committed to talking to him each morning and not letting my feet hit the floor until I had spent time in his word. Word before world became my motto. And I'm telling you, it can make all the difference in how your day goes and in your life. I prayed like I had never before. I studied deeper than I had ever studied before. And I relied on God's strength fully through it all. Um, there was no me getting through this or I can handle this. It was, it was all because of God's strength. And through all that, I have found a much closer and deeper relationship with God. And I'm thankful for the growth and I'm thankful for the refinement because I can reflect now and see God's hand in each step of the way, his plan and each step of it. He led us to the right doctors. He brought, um, supportive friends in at just the right time. Our, our church family would send a letter or make a phone call or bring a meal at just the right time. My kidney removal was a success and I'm almost finished with my treatments um, that, we, that I did just to be proactive. The unknown can be a scary, scary time and a place if you stand still. And no one's waiting just like you are in your chair. No one is in your circumstances. You need to ask God what he's doing for you during this time of waiting for your future. 
Don't try to figure out the unknown will of God. That's his realm, not ours. Um, this is where your trust comes in. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 tells us, Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. You know, he knows what's next for you, so he knows what's best. Trust God in the wait and in the unknown and use it as a time of growth.